Okay, for our final video on outcome T2, we are going to use everything we've seen and all our knowledge of trigonometry all at once in order to solve equations involving trig ratios. Okay, so good luck. Let's just get started. All right, here is a first example of a trig equation we will solve. We have to find the angle theta that will satisfy this equation. Well, this is sort of like when we solve for x in an equation. Okay, so here's what it asks us to do. Solve for theta, and it tells us that theta is somewhere between three, 0 and 360. We can write that in two ways, by the way. That These are just two ways of writing, hey, theta is somewhere between 0 and 360. Okay, step one. We're going to isolate the trig function. So subtracting 1 from both sides, I get that 2 times the sine of theta equals negative 1. And finally, uh, dividing by 2, you get sine of theta equals negative 1 over 2. Some of you may recognize that exact value, but let's pretend we don't recognize it for now. We want to find theta r, the reference angle here. To find the reference angle, you're going to use your calculator. If you know that the sine of an angle is one half, or negative one half, then the angle itself is the sine inverse of that value. We're going to do this with the positive ratio, and you're just going to always have to keep that in mind working with your calculator. Your calculator is not very smart, so you're going to have to instruct your calculator very carefully to tell it what to do. So you always want to use the positive value. Anyway, type that into your calculator and you'll find the sine inverse of one half is 30 degrees. Now, let's see. If the reference angle is 30 degrees, well, what matters here is where is theta? So determine the quadrants in step three. Determine the quadrants where theta is found by looking at the sine of the value. Well, right here. The sine of theta is negative. So we can recall from our cast rule, I suppose, that, that says that sine is positive in quadrant two. It's positive when everything is positive. So sine is negative in quadrant three and quadrant four. So theta is in quadrant three or quadrant four. And so we now can actually find theta exactly. We know in one case, theta is gonna be in quadrant three with a reference angle of 30 degrees. What is that angle theta in this case? Well, that's 180 plus 30, 210 degrees. How about in the other case? Well, if we're in quadrant four and we have a reference angle of 30 degrees, our angle is going to be 360 minus 30. That's 330 degrees. So the two solutions for this equation are theta equals 210 and theta equals 330. If you don't believe me, go ahead and plug those values into the original equation and it should equal zero. Here are some examples that I'd like you to try. We're going to try to solve each of these equations. Uh, so A, B, C, D, and a couple more on the next page. I'm going to solve one of them in full. And then I'd like you to bring me the rest of these problems attempted, not necessarily solved, and we'll check your work and we'll kind of think about what you've done. I'm going to do one of them in full. Why don't I do the first one, since it's right there. Okay, the cosine of theta equals 0 0.3. So the first step is already done. We've isolated the cosine of theta. Next, we can find the reference angle. That's the cos inverse of the positive 0 0.3. Okay, so I grab my handy dandy calculator, do the cos inverse of 0 
and I find that my reference angle will be 72.5 degrees approximately after rounding. Now, where is that angle going to be located? Well, that's just basically where is cos positive. Cos is positive when all angles are positive in quadrant one, and cos is positive in quadrant four, according to my cast rule. Okay, so the reference angle here or here is the same. The reference angle is 72.5 degrees. So what are the actual angles? Well, in quadrant one, the reference angle and the angle are the same. And so my first answer is 72.5 degrees. In quadrant four, my angle is 360 minus the reference angle of 72.5. So 360 minus 72.5 gives me 287.5 degrees. So my two solutions are theta equals 72.5 and theta equals 287.5. From here, bring to class an attempt at B, C, and D as well as the pro problems on the next page. Feel free to have some trouble with it though. And we'll answer some questions together. We'll check your work. And then once we're sure that this is making sense, you can go on to the homework on the next page.